Hi, I just wanted to do a little short personal review of the Loco, Loco Inca 10 foot longboard. Actual dims are 10 foot by 29 and a quarter by 4. Um, I've had Loco boards before. I had a previous, the dark wood one, I think it's a 9.5. Bit chunky, a bit more volume, but I wanted something a bit more lively. Um, and this kind of fits the bill. Um, myself, I'm a sort of weekend, your typical weekend warrior. Um, used to always be looking at surfing and windsurfing. Used to windsurf a lot. Um, I had a gap. I've surfed all my life, but I had a big gap when I played football. Probably a, a reasonable standard, but it sort of distracted me from the water for a bit. So you only had like summer holidays. But in terms of moving on, paddleboarding came along, and all of a sudden you've got a, to a toy for all occasions. You know, you get to the beach and it's flat conditions. You can paddleboard it. You get to the beach and it's a bit windy. You stick a sail on and you can windsurf it and it's quite lively as a, as a windsurf um, and of course it's real forte is as a 10 foot paddleboard longboard and it's beautiful in all conditions right down to knee dimmers uh, it's quite interesting that when you get it out of the board bag at the beach if there's somebody around getting ready they always come across and have to have a stroke and a feel because i think it's the wood that attracts you um, it was the wood that attracted me and the complementary graphics just superb um, i absolutely love it i use it on the canal <laughs> the sea, anywhere. Um, I love the matching fin set. The matching fin set, so the whole thing is just a complete aesthetic delight as far as I'm concerned. I'm, my, my day job is an architect, so obviously I'm into design and appearance, and this kind of ticks all the boxes.